Hello and welcome to another short video of Silky Bix Developer Studio Pro. In this video, I would like to show you how to change uh, white balance. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you click the white balance and then you have two or few options. One, you do have some presets where you can choose your um, um, presets based on the environment. Um, you do have two auto um, the white balance. Uh, first one is absolute and second one is natural. Um, second, the natural button is not that very aggressive but does a very good job. Absolute on the other hand, um, I find it a little bit more extreme, depends on the photograph. Uh, if you have a white balance card, then you can actually pick a tool, a grey balance tool and click on um, your gray card. In this photo, I don't have any gray card, neither I have an object with gray color, so the tool would be useless. Uh, personally, I dip if I'm taking portraits, I, ta I use that skin color tool because priority of that tool usually to make sure it doesn't affect the skin color where uh, the white balance or gray balance tool uh, does uh, the other job usually um, it gives you a global white balance correction and moving on to the sliders here it's pretty much the same as any other software color uh, you can change your color temperature um, in this photo for instance uh, it's pretty yellow because it's taken inside the Bundestag which is the parliament of Germany um, you have multiple color source uh, you have yellow here then you have um, blue here um, so pretty complicated usually um, I go towards a bit more blue um, but not too much though because it tend to be a bit more extreme color deflection which is tint um, I'm happy with that but you can obviously change it um, depends on how you like your photo dark adjustment on the other hand here um, in the shadow area, let me zoom in a little bit. What it does, the dark adjustment, if you go towards uh, pink, the shadow become uh, a bit more pink. And if you go backward to the green, the shadow gets green. It does not touch the other bright areas. It only affects the shadow. I generally don't touch this slider. In a very rare occasion I touch it, but personally I never had to use it. Multi uh, light source compensation. Uh, this is interesting. Just like this photo, and there are many other photos, you might have to take a photograph where you have many different light source. In this photograph you have yellow, then you have blue, uh, you probably have other bright light source here. So um, this slider will give you a good control over different light source. It does a good job. Um, uh, barely noticeable to the naked eye but if you pay attention to the histogram you will see that it's changing a little bit to uh, the blue and the red this is a mild change I assume that if you have a screen um, uh, the calibrated skin you will be able to see the changes or if you print your photograph then definitely you'll be able to see it there is another tool that generally I'd like to show you, which is very important. That calls the white balance adjustment. This tool you will usually see in your Canon, Nikon, or any DSLR or mirrorless called white balance shift, which I think it in Fuji generally looks like this one. So as you can understand, it does the same job. Uh, you can uh, control your red and blue uh, based on the scenario. You can fine tune your photographs. And if you taking JPEGs, I recommend you to do your adjustment in camera. Um, you should have to nail your um, white balance uh, adjustment. But if you take raw, you can take benefit of this white balance adjustment uh, right in your um, software. As a matter of fact, you also can, you will be able to create your own filters and presets using that. As you can tell that I can actually give a pretty decent film look if I want to. I like this. Uh, uh, again, it's useful if you like to have a bit bit of a color cast or, your, um, or if you want to get rid of some color cast. You can go, for instance, if you had a photo 
uh, where you have a bit more red and you want to get rid of it you can go backward to get rid of that color cast so that's it anyway i hope that it helped to give you a good understanding on white balance in Selkip Stabler Pro Studio Pro tools in this software also applies to other softwares if you have Lightroom or uh, Silky Pix, uh, sorry, uh, DxO or Capture One you can use, you probably have more or less the similar type of tool um, so I hope this video helped and see you next time, bye bye